Okay, so the last project I want to talk about is porting and polishing the cylinder head from the XR4 Ti. Uh, you can see here I've got a selection of heads and it'll become clear as to why. Uh, but this is basically what you start with. This is the, the factory exhaust port size on the XR4 Ti motor. And it's rather limiting. If you put an exhaust manifold gasket up here, you can use this as your pattern for just how much material should be used so you can get some more flow out of that. And so that's basically what you do. You just scribe out that line and then grind away at it using tools like you know, a carbide cutter, selection of stones on an air grinder, and then some uh, sanding rules to make it nice and smooth. And this is the finished product. This is what you wind up with. It's the head that will go back on the XR. And you can see here now when you line up the exhaust gasket, it, uh, it pretty much matches perfectly. And you've re we've removed material from the tops and the sides, but not the bottom, because essentially what you're doing is, you know, this is a corner, and you're trying to straighten this corner out. You don't want to make it corner sharper. You want to make the you want to decrease the angle of the corner. So that's why you remove material from the top and not the bottom. Uh, but you know, before we got here, I had to do a little practice because. There's a limit to how much you grind, and sometimes if you go too far, you can strike a water passage. And so that's what this was. This is a garbage head, a test head, and then I ground away and uh, purposely you know, didn't care about whether or not I did went too far. And then when I was finished with it, I sectioned it on a bandsaw so I could uh, see just how much material was left. And if you have a quick look at this one here, you, know, you can see what the inside of these things look like. You know, this is a coolant passage in here, and so you've only got so much material that you can remove you know, before you strike uh, a, a water passage. Uh, and you need to know how much material you can remove and where, you know, so you're starting to come close here. So, how much can you remove and exactly where? And the only way you can do that is to cut some pieces up in the bandsaw and then to get a few practice, junk practice heads where you can do some porting and polishing and practice on and make sure you know that you've learned what, what to do and what not to do. And that's basically what I did here. This is my learning head. This was the, okay, I think I know what I'm doing. Practice. I put it and polished this head perfectly, didn't make any mistakes. And so I've now done the good one, which is going to go back in the car. I've done most of the work on, on this head. I've just basically have to finish off